before I came to the Open Door Mission, my life was shattered. It was truly horrible. It was daily desperation, consuming alcohol to numb the awareness of how devastated my life was. Couldn't hold a job due to my using an alcohol. My bills I couldn't pay because every chance I got I was using. And I just stopped, you know, going to church and doing what I know that I needed to do. All this pain, I wonder if I'll ever find my way. I wonder if my life could really change at all. Before I came to the Open Door Mission, my life was out of control. It was uh, just into pe in pieces. That nothing fit together. All the puzzle was completely scattered. The hopelessness made me feel out of control and with that I just, my life just completely broke down because everything just kept spiraling out of control. All this earth, could all that is lost ever be found? Could a garden come up from this ground? And because you know, I know I, I just drank. I drank alcohol and, and I would eat maybe every two or three days, you know. And I went and lived out of my car for about three months in the winter. I was just, that was one of the was constant, constant drinking. I never sobered up. I got involved in prostitution. Um, there was drug use, alcohol, and with a lot of stuff from my background with being molested and everything else, all you do is use the drugs and alcohol to just numb yourself from all the pain and the hurt and the shame and the guilt from all the things that you've done. I felt horrible because at one time my daughter, I was so drunk when she came home, she called 911. She was just afraid because I wasn't myself. I couldn't even stand up. She said, I don't want to live with you no more, Mom. I can't do it. Her whole life crumbled due to my decisions, you know? And it's horrible that I put her through that. You make beautiful things. You make beautiful things out of the dust. When I first came to the Open Door Mission, I was scared and frightened. I didn't know what to expect but I knew it was a Christian-based program which would let me um, get my life back together and put all the pieces back together. Open Door Mission brought my life back to me helped me get my life back. I mean, I was thinking, I can't do this, I'm 50 years old. All the directors here, the people, they told me, Carol, you can do it. And now I know that I can. I can do all things through Christ who strengthened me. And even when I gave up on myself, the mission didn't give up on me. They were right there to pick up the pieces for me and my daughter. And they told me, you are loved. I remember uh, the hope that I first experienced when I got in the mission. I think I came in on a Thursday. We were sitting there and the, the pastor was talking. He slid me a business card. And on the back he'd written, uh, <laughs> he'd written a Bible verse and it said that uh, if anyone is in Christ, he's a new creation. The old is gone, the new has come. And, uh, and he wrote on the bottom of that, stay for the blessing signed his name and uh, you know that's one of my favorite verses now and I'll never forget that stay for the blessings I just had to surrender surrender my life to God and surrender my life to the program because I wanted to be clean and sober I'm currently going to Metro over 
at the Fort Campus. Um, I am actually in culinary arts program, going through their program to become a chef. So I'm really proud of myself for going back to school for it. So, and I'm doing a pretty good job at it. My life was broken, but today I'm sober and I have my daughter with me. I'm working on getting my GED. Today I have a church home. I am living for Christ, and I know that I can do all things through Christ to strengthen me. The Open Door Mission has given me a brand new start. It's, it's provided the foundation, everything I need to start over. You know, I've got a safe place to sleep. I've got food, good food, every day. I get the Word of God seven days a week. What what God has started in me will continue. I've been made new. I really have been made new.